So today I was able to kind of use two confluences while trading. I was able to use the resistance level as a point to enter close to there and my stop loss a bit above that or at mm -hmm. a next resistance level. So that was able to have me enter the trade, not assume too much risk. However, when the trade went against me and I didn't take profits early enough, that's what messed me up today. So I entered the trade, the market came down. I was in like, uh, like probably 170 profit today. And then the market, I expected it to continue down and hit my take profit. It didn't. It came right back up and hit my stop loss. Today is a special day though because we had Jerome Powell speaking. So typically on days when you have like news reports or somebody important speaking, it's not the best day to trade the market because there's just so much uncertainty that can come into play. And the market can be very volatile. It can literally knock you out of your range, knock you out of your stop loss, all of that. So I think tomorrow might be more trending, especially like how we don't have much news working off of. Tomorrow's a Wednesday as well. You know Wednesdays are not my favorite. However, tomorrow, let's hope for it to be more trending if the dollar and the market picks a direction. Hopefully it just runs with it. So today I made two trades, right? Today I made two trades. Two to the sell side, and I'll show you why. And I'll show you where I was in profit for some portion, but I decided to hold it, and then it just went against me when the market started to come back up. The second position was when I entered the market, and then Jerome Powell spoke. Within 10 minutes later, it began to go against me. So I'll show you. Right, so... <clears throat> On 9.30, oh, I actually entered at 9.50. So what I did different was with this one was I had a, a limit order, right? So I had a limit order. And I decided to put it uh, a little bit, if it decided to break above this resistance level, like if you were playing it to the downside and it decided to go above this resistance level, I decided to say, okay, I'm going to enter somewhere above here and then take it down. But however, I have my stop loss above this level, right? So let me show you exactly what happened. So 30440. So I entered here to the downside, right? And I got closed out at... What's this? We minus 5 from this. That's 11.33. So let's see when it really started to go against me. Okay, so I had my stop loss close to here, but not above here. Above here, I don't think it wouldn't have helped because since I didn't take profits at this level, it definitely went against me around 12 there about. So <laughs> I'll show you what happened. I, I got stopped out at 30550 think on the 1130 candle 30550 so right around there okay so this is where I entered it came down here this is where I had like a uh, 170 profit my take profit was at 30250 so <laughs> that's where I just got messed up because it didn't push all the way down but that's what happens I was thinking about taking it but I decided hmm let me just hold it I think I got a good entry on the day I believe the market would have trended down lower so that's where I expected all right I would have left some money on the table but I still would have got hit at my take profit but this is where i got hit out at my stop loss around 11:33. so that was the first trade and then what we could see on the dollar here is that the dollar actually broke above this daily uh resistance level it was resistance in the previous market previous hours and then uh let's see it started to trend up, started to trend up. So this is where you could see that the market was more bearish, right? However, 
as you can see around uh let's see what's this 10 15 let's see what's 10 15 here yeah around 10 15 that's when the dollar started to break down and this is where the market started to reverse on the qqq so you can see that it's kind of easier to spot on the dollar in my opinion where the market starts to reverse this is where the market starts to reverse you can see it on the dollar it started to go down so that's what happened um hmm you minus five from this again so I entered at 1136 on the 1135 candle and then I entered to the sell side again as you can see right at my 30550 there again enter to the sell side with my stop loss above this level ah so I was very biased there hmm poor decision by me very biased because I didn't check out the dollar and if I checked out the dollar well I was actually looking at the dollar I was looking at the dollar but I was just biased because I could see the dollar below this level but I expected it to just like I expected it was like doing a reversal and it was going to bounce back up above this level it did not if I had went hmm, if I had went to the upside maybe I could have been able to just capture a lot of this upside so this is where I entered to the downside and then I got stopped out just a little bit above a little bit above this level so 306.09 okay so this is where I got stopped out at my stop loss above this level of resistance right for a loss of 60 so that was the total trades for the day right those were the total amount of trades for the day just two trades i didn't want to over trade today because obviously i over traded yesterday right but <clears throat> what i like to show you is like this is what i'm seeing that you have the dollar breaking down here at 1235 right when the dollar breaks down you're gonna see bullish movement on the qqq and the dollar kind of shows it a bit more that the dollar can show you that breakdown and then the QQQ kind of like lagging. The QQQ is like showing you like small indicators that we might change position, like might change direction. And the dollar is more giving you that definite move down. So when the dollar give you that move down, that this is what's giving you that QQQ move up. And then this dollar move up is giving you that QQQ move down. And then it was, as you can see, complete whipsaw. So the dollar moved down again. We have a QQQ move up to the upside. All right. So that's basically what happened today. I think tomorrow will be much better. We don't have a lot of external catal catalysts. The market can kind of move on its own. And we'll have more of a trended market, I believe, versus this. This is some abnormal movement, as you can see. Because you have an open around here. Let me see where's open. You have an open around here. Come up, down. Kind of trend here. Kind of waiting until Jerome Powell speak. That should have been my cue to get out. But, and then as soon as Jerome Powell spoke, this is very bullish on the market. And then the market kind of reverts to where it was. Like a re mean reversion right here. So that's very interesting. That's like a meaner version trade. It kind of come back up. I'm expecting it to probably trend more to the upside. However, let's see. Let's see how it plays off this level. That's 103.679. And I'm pretty sure Bitcoin moved the same way. Yep. Just, uh, yep. Crazy move today. You're moving from 22.901. To 2300, 23,000, back down to 22,811, and then it started to move back up. All in all, it was a good day. 
I would say. And I learned more about using those two confluences for entering my trade and not assuming too much risk while I'm trading because I'm taking a lot of drawdowns and then it hit me out at my stop loss and then that's just making the trade completely invalid, right? But I'll see you tomorrow. Watch other videos on my channel. Hopefully you see where my strategy has grown. You see where my strategy is kind of building out a bit better. Even though we're having like a lot of losses right now, I'm going to take it right back up with no stress, no pressure. Let's not rush it. Let's just take it easy and not over trade. All right. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.